Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We're Make A Wood Sign. We teach you guys how to make signs. We're gonna show you our five favorite fonts to freehand route signs. Stick with us, we'll get right on it. All right guys, so we're gonna get into this. But before we do, I wanna send a big thank you to Twisted Oak Farms down in South Carolina. All the wood that we're using today came from their sawmill, and we just love this stuff. So thank you guys to the Pitts family down there in South Carolina. So now let's get started. First off, we have the Western font. Now the Western font I think is really great if you're especially if you're in the rural area if you're in a flyover state so to speak if you're in ranch territory if there's a lot of horses around this is a huge niche that you guys can huge niche that you guys can go after so the western font is perfect for that we uh, we've made signs for decades with this western font and it's really really popular with uh, the country folk so these are inch and a half Western. These were done with two inch Western. Ryan carved these with a 60 degree bit. So you can see that the 60 bit works really well on these big two inch Western. If you've got smaller, like these inch and a half, you might drop down to the profile bit, but uh, two inch or bigger, the 60 definitely works well for this. So this is red purple heart, which is absolutely my favorite of what, uh, what the Pitts family sent us. It just looks Looks spectacular. Look at the backside. That's what it looks like on the backside when you put a finish on it. It just looks absolutely spectacular. So the next font, and this is my wife's favorite font, is the fatty font. This is a really good way to do it, especially for beginners, because it doesn't have many sharp lines and it's very forgiving if you kind of go out of the line a little bit. Um, also, it's kind of a cool little font, something different that you don't see on too many signs. So you can see right here, this is inch and a half, and then this is two inch. Um, and obviously the bigger the letter, then the bigger the bit you can use to carve it. But even the inch and inch and a half, I use 60 degree when I'm doing it. You can see how the, the bottom part of the F right here, everything is nice and curved. It's a super easy font to, to carve and also it's, it's a great font for like kids rooms and camping signs and things like that. Plus it's really bold. So if it needs to be seen from a little bit more of a distance, it's easy to see. Next up, we got the universal font. Now this is a really a plain font, but the neat thing is it's condensed. So you can fit a lot more letters in a specific space. And the fact that it's non-serif, sans serif, so it doesn't have the serifs that the Clarendon and the Bookman have. And a lot of people like stuff that is just more of a block style. So the great thing about the universal font, number one, it doesn't have serifs. And if you're not familiar with a serif, serif is where you would have a line that goes across the top of these letters. And that would be those little uh, extensions. That would be a serif. This is sans serif, so it's, it is uh, more of a block style, but it's condensed. So if you have a sign that is, you've got to do a lot of lettering on in a just a short, uh, short board, Universal is definitely the way to go. You can fit so many more per inch than you can any of the other styles. Next we have Bookman font. Now Bookman font is real close to Clarendon, but it's not quite as condensed. It's a little bit more bold, which makes it perfect for address signs and for ranch signs, things like that, that are real bold and you want them to be able to see them, you want to be able to see them from a longer distance. So another good thing about the Bookman font is like, let's say you have a, a, a name sign, a house sign, but it's a short name like Smith or something. It takes up quite a bit more room, so if you have Less uh, wording on a bigger board. Bookman's perfect because it takes a lot of room up. So the last one is Clarendon. And now this is the one that we use probably more than anything. It's a real basic font, but there's a couple things you need to know about it. When you're carving Clarendon, the main thing you gotta remember is that there's a lot of straight lines on these letters. But as you can see right here, where the straight, the vertical part of the L is and the vertical part of the C, we put a curve to them. And that does a couple things. Number one, it gives it a little bit more character, kind of makes them more interesting. 
Number two, it makes it easier to carve, especially if you're using the 60 degree around all this stuff, which is what we use for all of our Clarendon, whether it's inch or three inch. Um, making those curved lines and adding at the top of the A, the little uh, curved serif right here, and it makes the sign look a lot better and draws the eyes to it a little bit more. So guys, everything that we use today, all of the different fonts, I'll put a link in the description below and there's multiple different sizes you can get. That's it guys, thanks again to the Pitts family down there at Twisted Oak Farms in South Carolina. Definitely go check them out and uh, we so appreciate you guys sending this wood. We appreciate you guys watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, please uh, consider subscribing. Click that little bell icon. And again, you know where to get supplies. Everything's down in the, in the description. We love you guys. We'll see you on the next one. Bye. Bye.